All right, hello once again. Okay, so today uh, we're going to talk about how to embed texture into FBX uh, using Blender and how to set it up in Unity as well. So the thing we're going to talk about is saving texture into the .blend file. So if you know, like for Blender, it takes reference to the texture image. So basically all your texture assets, right, it's not stored in your Blender file, even you press Ctrl S or you save it. So we're going to fix that by embedding uh, the textures file itself into the Blender project file that we are working on. After that, we're going to export the FBX with texture. So this uh, comes with some configuration from Blender itself. Right. And lastly, we're going to put it, uh, the FBX, right, put it into the model, put it into the Unity and uh, set up for it to show the textures in Unity. So the very first thing is to save the textures into our Blender working file. Right. So basically, as you have talked about, is that images are referenced. So how to store all these images into the asset file itself. So basically, this will make your Blender file a bit larger, but it's much more easier to work with and to bring the file work, uh, around easier. So the very first thing, uh, I'm going to just quickly uh, load up an image for my cube here. So I'm just going to quickly open an image and I'm just going to put just a render image and set the shading. Okay. So and to include these textures in my uh, working file, my Blender project file, then I'm going to click on external. Then uh, pack all blend into blend file. Okay, so that's all. And just to click save. Okay, and make sure we save in a nice place. So we're just gonna say cube. Okay, so let's save it. Okay, so that's all for making our blender file, our texture to be in our blender file. So moving forward is to export the FBX model with the texture itself. So back in the old days in 2.7, I think we have to rebuild all the materials and textures uh, inside Unity after we have exported the FBX. And if you got like more images such as like uh, normal maps, um, emission maps and stuff, then you have got more things to work with again on Unity. So quite, quite a pain if you have like tens or hundreds of models, right? So a better way is to Im include it inside the FBX itself. And to do that, right, it's a couple of settings apart from the usual setting to export to FBX. Okay, so it's just two more settings, basically the set path, uh, the path mode, and as well as the icon to embed the textures. So coming back, okay, we're gonna select our cube and we're gonna do the we're gonna do the usual uh, exporting FBX. Then we're gonna say uh, we're gonna save on the desktop, and we're gonna set our okay our usual setting is always select but only the objects and as well the mesh then click on the experimental properties for the correct facing right so and the new settings that we're gonna set right is the copy path and as well as the icon okay so just these two things and we're gonna save on our desktop correct cube fbx okay so let's save right so that's all for exporting the fbx with uh, textures in it so this just these two settings and lastly, right, to put it back onto Unity, okay, apart from dragging the FPS into Unity, we also have got to do some settings whereby it's to set up the material by extracting the textures, okay? So it's just one step and let's head over to Unity and drag our, um, drag our, which one, our models over, okay? Right, so now we have got our cube. So the settings that we want to set, right, basically is just to click on extract texture. And we're going to create a new folder and call it texture. Okay, and we're going to put all our textures there. Right, so now the texture is inside and you can see that our cube now already have got our textures. And when we drag our cube up, and we will have our texture in our cube. Okay, right. So that's kind of sums it all, okay? Uh, getting a texture asset into Unity from Blender, right? So it's a couple of more steps, but I think it certainly makes life easy in the long run, okay? So that's all for me, and good luck.